Well, our cool season crops are really starting to look nice, but we need to be monitoring them at this time for some of the insects that are common this time of year. And if you look at them, first off, if you look at the top of the leaves, they look fine. We don't see any insects on these, but the place to look for insect problems is underneath the leaf. So if you can just look underneath and start checking, and what we're looking for first off are aphids. This is a time of year when you're going to find a lot of aphids. They're starting to come out because we've had some warm weather. And you'll notice here on the underside of the leaf, it's kind of dirty, so you have to look close. But <clears throat> if you look here, we have some aphids that are starting to feast on our plants. Now to control these, a lot of times just a, a stream of water on the underside of the leaf will knock them off. You can also use insecticidal soaps. They work really well on aphids. And there are also just some insecticides that are labeled for aphids and for your food crops. So always check on the label and make sure that that insecticide is labeled for that food crop before you just start spraying those because you're going to be eating these. Well, something else that you might want to watch for, especially on your cold crops this time of year, are little um, caterpillars, cabbage loopers, and also um, imported cabbage worms are going to start popping up this time of year. And again, um, first what you'll notice is you may see some little white bumps on the leaves, and those are the eggs. And then later, if you look really closely, you'll see uh, some worms crawling around. Now, a good control for these is Bt. Bt is a biological insecticide. It works really well on anything that's a Lepidoptera. And um, both of these are um, from butterflies and uh, from moths, and so this works really good. Well, one of the last things that you're going to want to be looking for on your cold crops and also on those new warm season vegetables that you may be setting out is to watch for cutworms because they're going to be around this time of year. Well, there's a really simple thing that you can do to prevent cutworms from taking off with your vegetables, and that is to put a little collar around the base of your vegetables when you plant them. Now, cutworms are a little harder to see until after the damage is done because what will happen is you'll come along and your plant will have been chewed off just either at ground level or about an inch above. And cutworms work at night, so if you're out looking for them in the day, you're not going to see them, but you'll see the damage the next morning. But if you put a little collar around, about an inch high, and this is just a tinfoil collar, just around the base of that plant, when you plant it, and then just kind of shove that into the ground, there at the base, that will help deter the cutworms. Now, in addition to using like um, tin foil, a lot of people use uh, cups like Dixie cups and things like that. You just cut the top out and then you can cut it to size here. Just about an inch and a half. And you can place that around your plant. You can make a little slit and then just put that around the base of the plant. And that way, that deters the worm because they can't girdle that plant and cut it off. So you'll just be wanting to monitor your plants now because they're looking really nice and you won't want to lose them to pests. So just keep an eye out for some of those springtime pests. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.